Welcome back to ESBR Boxing's YouTube channel. Delighted to be joined by Owen. We are reacting to the news that Liam Smith will rematch Chris Eubank Jr. June 17th. Um, Owen, thanks for your time. Nice to see you again. Do you want to see this rematch? Do you know what? I'm at a major crossroads with it, if I'm honest. Um, because I've, I keep thinking about it. Because to me, it was the fight that was always going to happen. Obviously, straight away, they said Eubank's going to exercise his um, the rematch clause. He's going to activate it. Um, the Conor Ben stuff, you never know what's happening. So I think at this stage of Eubank's career, he can't really be sat, especially coming off a loss. He can't sit around and wait for UCAD and British Boxing Board of Control and whoever to sanction Ben. So it's the one I expected. But I'm at a bit of a crossroads because does the best Chris Eubank beat? The best Leon Smith. I wouldn't say 100% yes, but he's, it'd be a great fight. But this boxing move, Eubank, I don't think he, he lays a glove on him. He started quite well, but I think once Smith realised, put the pressure on him, he's mm. trying this Roy Jones Jr. esque style and it's not him. So put the pressure on him and look what happened. Um, I think the old Eubank Jr., who I think his power was underappreciated because he weren't a big knockout puncher but he, he didn't get appreciated but I think he had so much spite in them uppercuts you know when he, he'd unload combinations so I think that Eubank Jr pushes Liam Smith the whole way um, I just think based off what we've seen in the last fight and Eubank's last couple the rematch doesn't really interest me I thought it was quite a, a conclusive knockout um, so yeah it's a bit, bit of a crossroads but I expected it, so I'm I'm sort of on board with it. Yeah, it's I mean, look, it's one of those where we'll be watching, won't we? Um, it's going to be a big fight on 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 the night. Um, obviously Liam Smith got the um win back in it was back in January now, fourth round stoppage, became the first man to to stop Eubank Junior. Um, feel like I I agree with, I agree with your point. We don't know if. If Roy Jones Jr. will be Eubank Jr.'s trainer for this fight, Eubank's kind of he's had a few trainers. He's had a period when he's not really had a trainer. Um, so I think that's one of the unanswered questions going into going into this fight. That yeah, maybe we'll get an answer for that soon. Um, I know that for the Ben fight that didn't happen, but that didn't happen. Roy Jones wasn't going to be in Eubank's corner for whatever reason. So we'll have to um, we'll have to see. Um. Some people will be writing Eubank Jr. off um because of what happened in the first fight, which happens in the boxing world. Are you would you would you write him off? Are you quite convinced we're gonna see a Liam Smith stoppage victory again? Um I wasn't convinced I'd see a stoppage in the in the first fight. I had to hold my hands up. I did say to a lot of people, I thought if Eubank boxes how we know Eubank boxes he's a better he's a better fighter than Liam Smith. Sorry, I changed that. He's a better boxer than Liam Smith, but Liam Smith's a better fighter. Um so I wouldn't I'd never write him off. You know, he's Eubank's never really even been obviously with the Groves fight, isn't bar that one, he's never really been hurt. Mm. I know he's never been stopped before, but it's hard off the top of my head to sit there and remind myself when Eubank's been in trouble. So I wouldn't say it was a freak or it was a punch from the gods, anything like that. I think it was just the pressure Smith put on him in that round. He landed some great clean shots. And unfortunately, if you if you land shots like that, and if you allow shots like that from Eubank's perspective, you're going to get stopped. So I think to write him off would be harsh, but I could see Smith being sort of comfortably the favourite, especially with mm. no one knows. Eubank's trainer is going to be. No one knows what his style is going to be like. Um, it's going to be interesting to see the weight again. I think there's so many factors that are going to play into Liam Smith's favour a lot more in this fight than the first one. Um, I think the counter argument to that is will Liam Smith underestimate him? Um, I think with the team around him, his brothers, etc., he won't, but there's always a possibility that you're going to get it in your head that I've cleaned him out in four rounds in the first fight. I should be able to do it within two or three this fight sort of thing. So I do think it'd be harsh to write Eubank off that I could understand why people would. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think I would just a couple more points from me, Owen. I think another unanswered question about Eubank is 
after trying to boil down to 157 pounds back in October, how easily did he kind of come out of camp and then go back into making middleweight? Um, I think he looks okay the day of the weigh in in January. He was just kind of as confident and as brash as, as Eubank Jr. always is, but that's kind of an answered an unanswered question here. Um, I pers- personally, I think he'll he would have lived, he'll kind of maybe take Liam Smith a bit more seriously this time. Maybe he didn't last time. He was talking about the what the 50%, 60% thing, which was a bit load of rubbish and kind of looked a bit silly now. Would you agree with that? That Eubank Jr. didn't take, wasn't in the best shape last time because of the whole Connor Ben weight scenario, not taking Liam Smith seriously. Would you agree with 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 that? Yeah, hundred percent. I think he didn't look too bad on weigh-in night for Liam Smith, but I thought he would. I thought with Eubank, he's made. I know it's been a long time, but I thought making the weight for Connor Ben, I thought he, he's always been in immaculate shape new bank so i thought he'd do it quite easily but that photo he took on the scale um in his boxers when i believe it was when the fight got called off sort of thing and he posted it he looked terrible i know it's only a few pound difference but when you're losing it in them aspects every pound does count um and i think to be honest he looked terrible i said again to a lot of people i thought if you bank can survive the first three or four against ben I still I believed he would have took him out. Um either took him out late on or a fairly comfortable points decision. But I think that weight cut took a lot out of him. The photo of him on his scales in his house or wherever it was genuinely looked shocking. No, he looked quite scary, to be honest, if they'd allowed him to step in the ring looking like that. So I do think that took a lot out of him. Um the fifty, sixty percent thing, I think it's hard to take Eubank serious with that stuff. You know, he's done it all his career. Um, but it was almost like he was saying it that much. I think he began to believe it. It got to the point where it's almost like trying to convince himself, like speak it into existence type of thing. He's saying it over and over and over. But you say it once or twice, great, it's it's funny, it gets a laugh, but he was constantly mentioning it. So I think mentality-wise, that aspect played a a huge role in it. And I do do definitely think the Conor Ben weight cut took a lot out of him. Because I don't want to comment and say he did, but it looked, it appeared to me that he put the weight back on to lose some again for Liam Smith. Um, and it's never healthy flying up and down the weights like that at all, no matter what weight you're at. No, no, I think I, I agree with you there. So it'll be interesting to see what he kind of looks like way in day for this fight and, and what happens. Um, final question for me, Owen, I've got to ask you this. Um, will the loser retire? Um, Eubank, I think yes. Smith, I think no, because I can honestly see it being a trilogy. If Eubank wins, they're 1 1. Eubank's going to be talking it up. He's going to get Malvi. Liam Smith's a scouser. They're going to rematch again. So I think if Eubank, I know this is going to, this will get a few laughs, but I think if Eubank loses, genuinely, where does he go from there? There's always the Conor Ben fight, but on the back of two losses to Liam Smith, you know, he'll be, what, 33, 34? What's left in the game is not really going to challenge for a world title. Um, No disrespect to Liam Smith. I think Liam Smith can get to a world title fight, but if if Eubank's losing to him, realistically, he's earned enough money in the game. Um, I think he, he would be... It wouldn't surprise me if he sort of had a prize fight type thing. But in terms of top level, yeah, I think retirement wouldn't be the worst shout. Whereas for Liam Smith, I think he loses that. They go for the trilogy. So it's one of those where, although they're at similar age and they're not two dissimilar stages of their career, um, I think personally, I think there's two, two very different outcomes there. Okay, we shall see. Owen, thank you very much.